Menina Fortunato from Menina Entertainment is a powerhouse in the dance industry with over three decades of unparalleled experience. Joining us now today on the program to delve into her remarkable journey and glean some insights from her extraordinary career. Menina, good to see you. What inspired you to pursue this path? Well, I would give credit to my parents. My father was my first dance teacher. He owned two dance studios. My mother started a dance competition 30 years ago, which I also helped her build. So while I was training, uh, competing, I was also teaching dance at the age of 12 at my father's studio. And by the time I was 16, I was working professionally as my first paying gig and I moved to Los Angeles at the age of 20 and the rest is history. Incredible stuff. Now it's not an easy industry to be in, but I understand you've brought skills uh, both in front of and behind the camera in behind the scenes roles. What lessons have you learned and what experience do you think that or value that gives you um, when it comes to experience and working on sets or you know working in theaters, etc.? Well, I think being a performer, as you know, being on camera, uh, you learn a lot of skills and now that I'm older i am able to pass on expertise to my clients i mentor dancers and um, i really think that dance can be the springboard and teach so much about leadership about confidence about uh, you know the ability to be in front of people people have fear of speaking on camera in front of an audience and dancing has given me the opportunity to be able to build those skills for myself and now pass them on to other dancers. Absolutely. I I know that the dancers in my life previously, you know, as I worked as an actor, it was always nice to see what they were working on, but I never understood it fully until I did a bit of training and actually started integrating movement and physicality into the work. And it was a game changer. You don't realize how much we sit still these days. So not just psychologically, but mm -hmm. anyway, it's so, so cool. Um, so I encourage anyone out there to get dancing. Could you share a standout moment Absolutely. though, Menina? Can you share a standout moment from your experience working with any particular artists that have left a lasting impact on you? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, off the top, Britney Spears was a highlight. When I first moved to LA within one month, I was doing a series of Pepsi commercials with her back in 2001 that premiered on Super Bowl. That was a highlight. Um, with Paul Abdul, uh, who was my teen idol, uh, performed with Beyonce at the NBA All-Star Halftime Show at the Staples Center where Jay-Z was in the front row with Jermaine Dupri and all these amazing celebrities uh, touring with Earth, Wind and & Fire. They were my first world tour that I ever did. I was the youngest on that, uh, that tour and that was also an amazing opportunity that took me all over the world. And that's just the short list. That is incredible going through those names. <laughs> and I actually think I can remember the Pepsi commercial from 2001. Yes. I think. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make commercials like that anymore. <laughs> don't. But Menina, your transition from performing to production, it's a significant shift in the career. What prompted yeah. that movement? Take us through a little bit about that. Uh, simple, motherhood. Ah. Um, the reality of motherhood, um, the, the idea of going on tour, doing auditions, just didn't align with being a wife and a mom. I have now have three children and um, it, I still wanted to stay involved in the dance and entertainment industry, but in a different capacity. And it was just a natural progression to want to be a part of the creative side and to, you know, I've been on so many sets and so many stages, why not work on the other side? So I started with shows like The X Factor and America's Got Talent, and that paved the way to allow me to start producing my own projects, which I've done at Universal Studios Hollywood and Paramount Studios. Um, so now I get to include my family while on set and still be a part of the dance industry. Amazing, amazing how you can integrate it all and make it work. I know there's a lot of people out there who, you know, they feel they have to leave all of that behind when they enter into these industries, but it's incredible to think you've made it work. What inspired you to establish your teaching initiative specifically? And I guess, what do you hope participants gain from that experience? You were talking about uh, working with people on camera, etc. So I've been teaching, that's my longest profession, um, over 30 plus years. Um, the pivot, I started with um, the Hollywood Summer Tour in 2006, which is an in-person dance intensive to give dancers the opportunity to get a feel of what it's like to dance in Hollywood. And that event, uh, that annual event came to a halt in 2020 for obvious reasons. 
And uh, that forced a pivot. So I wanted to continue to be able to, again, mentor dancers, teach dancers. Uh, then I created the Business of Dance online mentorship program, which now allows me to serve dancers all over the world. And my mentees are doing incredible work where um, I've got 12 of them getting ready for the Super Bowl halftime show with Usher. I have another 18 that are going to New York Fashion Week next week. So um, I'm able to change lives and impact the next generation of dancers from the comfort of my own home while balancing the life of being a wife and a mom of three kids. Absolutely incredible stuff. Uh, I'm sure you're very busy, Manina, so I'm gonna let you get back to it. And I'm gonna look up that uh, Pepsi commercial again because I just need that throwback. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me on the program today and sharing your story. Thank you so much for having me. All the best. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. Head to tickernews.co for more. I'll see you soon.